Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ryu Gozrar. Welcome to the uh, the meme builds of the month for July. These are a little bit late. Um, all right, the game has a countdown now. A <laughs> uh, li little um, little head note. I actually recorded one of these, two of these videos rather, um, like a week or two ago. I did the TVP one and the TVZ one, right? But um, I made a really bad mistake just before I could finish the uh, the TVP one, so I got tilted and I didn't finish recording. But now that there's been a new patch, I figured I'm just gonna re-record all all three of these videos. You know, try it again, um, maybe do it a little bit better this time. And more importantly, uh, there's a new patch, so the replays will be more fresh. So this is uh, the meme month. I'm gonna be showing you guys speed banshees in every single video. So starting off with TVT, I want you guys to start this build off by going um, 15 gas into a 16 barracks. This is otherwise known as gas first. However, do not build the uh, second gas that you would normally get at 17 if you were to do gas first. This is going to be a gas first RFE into Hellions. Now, um, a little bit on the topic of speed banshees. I think speed banshees are some of the most fun fucking units Terran has ever like really had. And I would go as far as to say they are the Terran Mutalists. They are just so damn good. Like, it is crazy how much they do. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna explain why. It's because, um, when, when you're against Banshees, right, even if every Terran goes Raven, you can't fucking catch them. Like, you have to stay at home and defend against Banshees, especially when they have speed, right? And with this build, we're going to be going mech behind this. So, if you're going mech and your opponent is defending against your uh, Terran Mutalisks, it creates the most awkward and um, counterintuitive scenario of all time for them. Because you want to be attacking the mech player, but how do you attack somebody who's like keeping you at home, you know? Like, if, if you try to go across the map, all of a sudden you're taking like so much damage versus the Banshees. So you're gonna go Factory before the Depot, then you're gonna go do Depot, after Reaper, you're gonna do a Reactor, a more SCV, and you're gonna drop down a Refinery. So just to recap quickly, after the CC goes down, our next 100 gas is put into a Factory, Depot, Reactor. Sometimes you can get the Depot and Reactor at the same time, or you can get one faster than the other. It doesn't matter, as long as you get the Factory immediately after the Reaper and CC, you're doing this right. If you need to, go back and watch the video, um, if you want to see exactly what I mean. It, it shouldn't be too complicated to figure out. Now our gas was like slightly, slightly late, but not like late enough to matter. Now you're gonna immediately um, swap these two buildings, and you're gonna make sure you're very careful with your Reaper. One of the things that can really fuck you with this build in TBT is uh, since you're gas first, you don't have that extra rainy wood with Rax first, but more importantly, if they send their first two Reapers and one Hellion across, assuming they're going double gas, they can really punish you hard. So like right about now, or like five seconds earlier, their units would be across the map, but once your two Hellions come out, meaning you kept your Reaper alive long enough, then you suddenly have the ability to like hold it and actually kill their army. They're gonna swap these two buildings here. Command center has been upgraded. So it's kind of like Heli and Banshee in a lot of ways. I like to rally the first Banshee up here. And we're gonna be going up to... We're gonna drop into their depot. I like to go up to six Hellions, however you can do anywhere between... We're gonna make the SCBs first. You can do anywhere between four to eight Hellions. Four if you want to be greedy, six if you want to be safe, and eight if you want to be aggressive. I don't recommend 8 in most scenarios, but if you want to do it, do it. Just uh, understand, as soon as those 8 Hellions come out, you're diving that mineral line. With 6, you can dive the mineral line, but it's not really recommended. It's better you just keep the Hellions alive, because once you have all of them out, you can just stay on their side of the map. So I would send the Hellions right about here, swap these two buildings. Behind this, you want to take an SCB. You're going to send it immediately on site to your third base. This is one of the nicest things about Hellions. Hellions immediately go on site, right? And you can build that CC. Now with your units, right? You want to kill some rains like this if you can. Otherwise, you don't want them to like overextend. You just want them to stay as spotter units and stop your opponent from moving out. Now we're actually going to cut some rains here real quick. And one big thing about the Banshees as well, by the way, don't lose this first Banshee. Now, here's where the build really starts to come together, right? 450, you're gonna drop two gases, you're gonna get Banshee speed immediately, so Banshee speed as quickly as you can, 
and you're going to constantly make banshees here. So you aren't going to have enough for tanks always, so we're going to have to skip a tank here, right? Which is why we're making marines as well. But you want these banshees non-stop. And uh, something I like to do really is I like to just bank my banshees up to two. And your banshees don't need to do a significant amount of damage yet. Your banshees can totally just be chilling right now and banking up to two and go up like way later, you know? Like, the, the whole point here though is that our banshees just need to build up in number. Because uh, when we have two, right, we can maybe go in, check, die for a cyclone, kill an SCV or two. But we're trying to keep the count high so that when we get speed, we can do a lot. But you'll notice that when we have two Banshees, we can suddenly, you know, one-shot SCVs. Now, you don't have to kill a lot. You can even kill three SCVs, two SCVs, or one. As long as you're not losing them, you're doing right. So you're going to rally your Banshees to each other. You're going to start the gases here. After you start your gases at your third, you're going to start up some more factories, which means you're going to take this off. We don't need marines anymore. We should have a pretty decent count here, which we do. A rally over here. Command center has been upgraded. Keep your units mobile. You don't want to have them, like, completely siege. Something you can do is, you know, have your Hellions as spotters. I can have, like, say, uh, Reaper here, Hellion here, Hellion here, you know, Hellion at the watchtower, another Hellion at the watchtower. Helene in this path, Helene in this path, right? And uh, I was floating quite a bit there. Oops. The whole idea is your Hellions, if they stayed alive, are really useful because now they're spotters. Wow, I'm messing up depots. Constant two depots once you're on three bases. Now with your Marines and tanks, you want to keep them all together and you want to have them watching your uh, attack paths, making sure you can't be attacked. Now we're going to go tanks and uh, add-ons here. We're going to drop down two more factories and you're going to start mag field. Now, see how speed is almost done on our Banshees? As soon as it's done, you grab your four Banshees, you should have about four or five, and that's when you can start going in and doing damage. Do not lose your Banshees if you can, because they are so useful if alive. If you see a Cyclone, you can cloak in and snipe it really quick. If you see an add-on, you can snipe it. If you see Ravens, you know, just fly away from them. And, and this is where the build really starts to get super fun. If you're bored of, like, uninteractive TVTs, this build is, like, just so fun. You can just outrun everything, and these are, like, a giant APM sink. So there's, like, a lot you can do with it. And we're gonna start going battle mech here once we have about four or six tanks. And we're just gonna start spreading our shit out, and we can grab another CC. Oops, we don't want this Hellion with us. And we're gonna go up to about, um, six Banshees. So after six Banshees, we can stop. Six is the ideal number, in my opinion. Try to always be active with them if you can. Reactor tech lab. So two reactors. Um, yeah, two reactors, three tech labs. Make cyclones and tanks when you can. And once we have our six banshees, we can lift this up. We'll build a reactor here. Another starport. Start your 1 1 as soon as you can. Try to make these depot walls. And get your eBay. Our eBay is a little late, to be honest. And uh, yeah, now we're going to be going out with blue flame. Uh, we're gonna get blue flame here. We're gonna go with cyclones, blue flame hellions, and we're just gonna be pushing on one side of the map, speed banshees harassing on the other. Now, if you ever see your opponent attacking, what you can like kind of do is you can, um, you can see once they scan, we just like run out of it. You can have your banshees sometimes just go in and snipe a few units like tanks. Uh, there, there's so much the banshees can kill, honestly. You just have to find damage anywhere, and it, it's good damage. Any damage is good, is what I'm getting at. You can see it's really hard to lose the Banshees, because we can just outrun everything. If they have a third, you can try and ransack it. If you think it's like protected by too many tanks, you know, the Banshees can swoop in, kill the tanks, and the Cyclone Hellion comes in, right? And we're... The, the nice thing really about this when going mech is that we're so greedy doing this that we can just kind of keep dropping CCs and going into whatever we want. Now, behind this we're going, um... Going Ravens and Vikings while still building up our big mech army. We don't have enough minerals. So spread your stuff out, you know. We have a pretty nice SCB count here. Nothing left in that mineral cluster. Not enough energy. Have your Cyclone Hellion out on the map, you know. You don't need a lot of it. You need, like, maybe six Cyclones, a bunch of Hellions, and otherwise you're just making We're Viking done. Raven tank. And yeah, uh, as always, you're always harassing with your Banshees when you can. Um, if your Banshees ever get low to, like, where mine are, it's totally fine to just grab some SCBs, quickly repair them, and then send them out. Because you don't want to be making Banshees that often, you want to keep the count at 6. Because 6 is scary enough to be a threat, but, um... 
it, it's, it's also like a small enough supply to where it's not like a huge investment. But if you keep them alive, right? then you can always do something with them. But if you're losing your Banshees, then you have to remake them. Otherwise, they're not as bad of a threat as they could be, you know? If that makes sense to anybody. And you obviously don't want to be making Banshees because we're now at the stage of the game where we're going to want to get out our Ravens. Um, make these Orbitals, by the way. Extra CCs are Orbitals if you can make them. You want to have your extra uh, Starport units as Ravens and Vikings because those are what's going to help you push here. Now, to go up to 5 Starport, you know, Oops, we lost the Banshee, so we're actually going to remake it. Yeah, so we, we have that being remade. We can add a Fusion Core and we can go like lip range uh, with our next push. And we're, we're just trying to max out. So um, by the time you're maxed, it should be around like 1030 if you just did this competently. Um, you can grab all your mech units, right? You're not going to have 2-2, two -two, unfortunately, with this type of build. But you will have at least 1-1. One -one, and you will just have like a large economy behind this. So, you can just kind of go across the map. I like to do two reactors, three tech labs here. And I just go for it. Now, the reason why we uh, are able to push across the map without, like, our own Vikings is because of the uh, Magfield Cyclones. So, even though, like, we don't have, like, Thors or anything, Magfield Cyclones are still pretty decent when it comes to, um, you know, killing Vikings and shit. So, they're, they're still pretty good. Now, always make sure that you're uh, at your new bases, saturating your gases with mech. Like, here we can take, like, six workers, send them here. We have six workers here, we can send them up here, take your gases. Uh, we can go LeBrange here. If you want, you can actually add extra factories. We can actually- no, that's bad production set up like that. We can do it like this. This is pretty decent. So the units will flow out. Maybe change this one's position, but it's, it's fine otherwise. Anyways, anyways, guys, this is the build. Um, I've been doing this like every single TBT in my private games, custom games. I think this is like significantly more fun to play than anything else I've ever done in TBT. Uh, you guys may have different experiences, but I don't know. Th this for me is what works. I think this is so fun. Anyways, thank everybody as usual for watching. Um, Please watch the other videos if you like this type of play. I'll be showing Speed Banshees in TVZ and TVP. I'm Ryu Gozrar, catch y'all later.